story of a car chair. Hello, makeup geeks. I am back. Yes, I'm home now, and I'm finally got settled, got all my stuff unpacked so I can do tutorials again. I know a lot of you were asking, where's the tutorial? What look are you going to do? So each day this week, I'm going to tape a new tutorial with some goodies that I bought while I was in California. A lot of them are holiday sets, special edition um, gift palettes, or whatever you want to call them. So the one I'm using today is by Bare Minerals, and it's called Face Fashion Wild Spirit. And it's a five-piece set, and I've got the stuff out of it, but it comes in this really cute box, and you open it up, and it's got three shadows, a blush, and then a Buxom Babe lip gloss. And they're in these intense purples, and then the blush and um, lip gloss are peach, so it's a really pretty combination. And this is the look I came up with using that. So, if you want to figure out how to do this look, keep on watching. So to start off for our look today, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm working with really dark minerals, and those can tend to fall out. Um, generally, I don't have too much fallout, but still, I don't want to chance it. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just some cheap powder. Just go to the drugstore, get the cheapest kind you have, and we're going to pack this on under the eyes. So any fallout that we get, we can just brush away. So I'm just putting this under here. Now, I know it's going to look kind of scary for the video, but this does work. Just pat that powder under there, and then we can go on to our look. I'm going to use Too Faced Shadow Insurance today. It's that one in that green tube. I like this better than Urban Decay. The more I play with both of them, I like this one just because it seems to go on a bit more smoothly for me, and it's easier to get out of that tube. So when I'm in a hurry and I'm working on you know several different models or clients at one time, I don't want to have to sit and play with the Urban Decay little wand that comes out. Sometimes you get a big gloop, sometimes you get nothing at all. It's just frustrating. So I'm sticking with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Now you're probably wondering why I'm using this instead of the MAC Paint Pot. It's because I want something that's a little bit, not really sticky, but something that's going to hold on to those minerals a bit better. So that's why I'm using that. I'm going in with MAC's 239 brush and it's that flat stiff shader brush and I'm going in with the color Smoky Sequins, and it's kind of a black color, but it has just a hint of purple to it. It's really, really pretty. So take that brush and just pack it into that lid, and then tap off the excess. That way you don't get as much fallout with it. I'm going to pack this on over that base, and see how with that Too Faced under there, it just sticks right to that base. So don't ever try to wear minerals without a base, or any eyeshadow really for that. You've got to have a base or your colors are just going to fade and be gone in two hours and all that hard work you put into it just goes for nothing. So, just pack that on staying under the crease. Don't go below that crease because then it starts to look kind of scary. Now did you see I get some black fall out here? <laughs> I'll brush it away in a second, I promise. Okay, I'm going in with Max 217 brush. It's a stiff dome brush. I'm going in with plush purple. And it's just that. It's like a kind of a burgundy purple color. It's really pretty. Putting this in the crease. So again, swirl it in the lid and tap it off. And just follow that crease. And then start to blend it out doing windshield wiper motions. If you need to apply more color, you can. If you want to bring it down here in the outer corner, that's fine too. However you want to shape it, it's fine. But just stay tr close to that crease, because if you go up too far, you're going to have a black eye. Which I know you're thinking right now, you're like, that looks like a black eye already. <laughs> Take your fluffy dome brush, and I'm using Sonia Kashuk's dome brush, and I'm using the color Metallic Lavender. And it's a really pretty, really shimmery lavender color. And it's okay if we've got that shimmer, because I've got matte on the lid. You always want to mix your finishes. Again, tap off the excess, and we're going to blend this above the crease, going up to the brow bone. Now I want to lighten up under the brow just a bit, and I don't want too much shimmer because I already have the shimmer from that metallic purple color, so I'm going in with another flat brush, just any sort of flat brush will do, and I'm going in with Vanilla by MAC because I want something that's close to my skin tone and something that's not shimmery, so that's what I'm using. Just put it on that flat brush and we're putting this right under the brow bone. Highest point and then blend it down. 
You see how that kind of lightens it a bit so that way it doesn't look like I have a complete black eye. Okay, take your brush and wipe off that powder. And it wasn't perfect, so that's okay. You can go in and touch up whatever you need to. And we're going to apply the dark color under the lid. So take your pencil brush, just any kind of small dome-shaped brush will work. Taking that darkest color and applying this to the outer part of the lower lashes. So I'm going to smudge it about halfway or so. Wipe it off, take that metallic lavender color. And we're going to start at the inner part of the eye and then blend it over into the purple we have underneath the lid. Okay, now it's time to clean it up, so I'm going to take a cute, cute, I was going to say clean Q-tip, but it came out as queen Q-tip. Ugh, it's been a long morning. <laughs> take your Q-tip and we're just going to wipe under there and clean it up a bit. So what I'm going to do for this point is apply my, um, black eyeliner to the waterline and I'm going to use Bourjois um, Clubbing Waterproof Eyeliner. You can use Urban Decay 24-7 and then I'm applying my mascara and I'll come back and show you how to finish up the look. Okay, so the eyeliner and the mascara is on and I'm going to show you what I did with the blush. The kit also comes with um, a peach blush and it's called Vintage Peach. It looks like this. Really pretty color. I'm taking an angled um, blush brush and I'm just going to dip it in that cap and again, just tap it off because you don't want too much on there. We're going to put this just on the apples of the cheeks and then work our way back to the temple. Then to get that rosy glow, I take Max Cream Color Base in Pearl and it's just that light color. If you're darker skin tone, I would say go with um, maybe Hush or Improper Copper. Those are really pretty. Take your ring finger, dip it in there and dab on the top of your cheekbones and then blend it out. And that'll give you that really rosy, kind of, not rosy, but glowy look. And that's it for the cheeks. For the lips, um, I just used the Max Jubilee lipstick, and on top I used the Buxom Lips Lip Gloss in Jessica, and it's the one that comes in that kit. It's a really pretty peach iridescent color. So that is the look. Some dramatic dark purple eyes with some peach cheeks and pink lips and that's what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thanks again guys for watching and subscribing and for checking out the website. I really do appreciate it. So if you want to find out more information about this look and to get um, more pictures and products that were used, go ahead and check out the link on the sidebar which this way. Yeah. Makeofgeek.com. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm on the brink of disaster. Staring down.